Hi guys, you are watching a Simon Expert and here we have a rectangular coil with dimensions 0.2 and 0.15 meters. This coil is inside of magnetic field 0.5 watts per meter squared and it is actually parallel to the field. Uh, the current inside of our coil is 10 amperes and in this field uh, the torque experienced by the coil is 4.5 newton meters. How many loops are there in the coil? Well, let's have a closer look at our picture. There are no magnetic forces on sides 1 and 3 because they are parallel to magnetic field. However, there are magnetic forces at sides 2 and 4 as they are perpendicular to the field. And we can find them from the equation for magnetic forces. Fb equals I times L times B. Here Fb is the magnetic force, I is the current inside of the coil, L is the vector which is laying in the direction of the current inside of the coil and it is equal to the side of our coil. And B is the magnetic field. So in our case F2 equals F4 and equals I times A times B. And actually the direction of force 2 is to me and the direction of force 4 is away from me. Now let's have a look at our problem from another angle. Alright, so we found the forces F2 and F4. Now if we will look at the loop of this coil from side 3, the forces will be directed as it is shown over here. F2 is upwards and F4 is downwards. Therefore, they produce the torque around point O, which is in the middle of this side. And we can find the magnitude of this torque from the following formula. Tau equals F2 times B over 2 plus F4 times B over 2. Here B over 2 is half of this side and this is the momentum arm. So tau equals the following, I times A times capital B times small b over 2 plus I A capital B times small b over 2. And this gives us I times A times small b times capital B. So here is the formula for torque in one loop of our coil. And this is also only for one loop of the coil. Let's proceed. Okay, so here, as I said, we found the torque for one loop of our coil. And we know that torque is proportional to the number of coils. Therefore, if we add n, the number of coils on the right, we will find the total torque inside of our coil. And from here, we derive n as tau over i times A times small b times capital B. And we get 4.5 divided by 10 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.15 times 0 0.5. And this gives us 30. So, in our coil, there are 30 loops. Thanks for watching us, guys, and subscribe to our channel. See you.